extension. It's almost like routine now, that kind of money. Uh, guys are getting that big money. And he's just, he was the best six man in the league last year, got the award. He wants to start this year, probably will. Will be interesting, Mike. Um, you know, obviously Kyle Lowry would start at the point guard, which pushes him off the ball, should relieve some of the pressure. His numbers were down notably in the playoffs. I'm sure that adds motivation to him. What you saw was teams that give him a tremendous amount of attention. A sign of respect. Let's check in with Monica. Guys, I mean, Tyler Hero's growth and obviously the sixth man of the year award, goodness gracious, by Max Struess, uh, was well-deserved. But I asked him about the identity of the group going forward this season. And he said, you know, we're going to be a lot younger, faster, and we hope to continue to hang our hat defensively. And, of course, we're more experienced. And so I just think what he's added to his game in terms of his strength, quickness, and quick, quicker decision-making, in addition to that core that this group really retains, is going to be special, Mike. And he, Monica, was one of those who added 10 pounds of muscle. <laughs> you can't just say you put on weight. It has to be pounds of muscle. Yeah, well, I mean, listen, there was a level of physicality that opponents brought to him nightly. And he needed to get stronger, not get bumped off, handle the blitzes, don't get sped up. You know, that's one of the big things for young players. As out of bio goes in, he's fouled by Morris. Marquise Morris did a game the other night where Kate Cunningham played. He had a terrific rookie year, but he knew he had to get stronger. You can see the difference. Mm. So when you go to the basket, you get whacked. You still can withstand it and get off a quality shot. Out of Iowa, 16 points, four rebounds. Our upcoming national TV schedule tomorrow at 8 Eastern. Heat right back at it on NBA TV in Memphis against the Grizzlies. Then Saturday at noon Eastern on NBA TV, Hawks and Bucks in Abu Dhabi. And the regular season begins on October 18th. TNT Sixers and Celtics, 7.30 Eastern, followed by the Lakers and the Warriors. How about you playing back-to-back -back road games in the preseason? Yeah. Okay, so can we go back to the adding strength and needing to be stronger, and et cetera, et cetera? Can I tell you what always comes to my mind when we have that conversation? Michael Jordan and what he had to do to prepare to go through the Detroit Pistons. Right. That's a different level of needing to get stronger. The beatings that he took. The game was played differently, oh. officiated differently. I mean... The Jordan rules, the abuse in the paint, and the willingness to to go back in there after some of the contact. I mean, think about some of the the Larry Bird, Julius Irving's, you know, Celtics Sixers series, the Knicks and the Heat. They were called common fouls. <laughs> play on. And now, guys not only thrown out of the game, but there's a chance for suspension. <laughs> right. It was a different time, a as they like to time. say. It was Mortal Kombat. You know, Marcus Garrett, there he is, number zero, back in for Miami with Struce Robinson. The rookie's back in as well. Nikola Jovic, the rookie from Serbia, had some good minutes. High Smith also out there. There's Cam Thomas. Patty Mills, in and out. Boy, Mills had such a wonderful season last year, individually, in his first year in Brooklyn. That's the most required of him in a season, Mike. Yep. Starts, minutes, productivity required by this group. And an offensive foul. How many charges have the Miami Heat taken tonight? I believe, is that three? At least as Struess draws that one. Tanabe picks it up. There's Marcus Garrett. Yovich to Robinson. Nice cut nice to the basket look. by Garrett. Heck of a look, and again, Duncan Robinson putting it on the deck. Bought 
Watanabe. Sumner. Strews trying to stay with it. Watanabe, the jump shot misses. Strews quick outlet. We're under two minutes to go here in the third. here in the Barclays Center tonight. It has tonight. been, yeah. Watanabe, nice defense block shot, rebound, pushes it up the floor. Beat inside to Morris, who struggles to hold on, and it's going to be Miami ball. Not a ton of spacing for Morris to make that catch. Well, led by Florida-based teams, the Orlando Magic and Miami Heat, the NBA family working to support organizations providing immediate relief to those impacted by hurricanes. Ian and Fiona, to learn how you can help, visit NBACares.com. And Jovic for three. He's looked good. He's looked very good. Two for two from three-point territory. He's been shot ready. He's made three for four field goals. Had a couple nice passes. Shot won't go. Morris tips it in. Sumner slow to get up. Jovic kicks it out. High Smith, corner three. And Thomas is fouled. A 28-point lead for the Miami Heat. So you think, again, the preseason, it's you have some erratic play, yeah. to put it mildly. So the Heat tonight have to fly to Memphis and play tomorrow night. Mm. So who plays there? Oh, I don't know. Eric Spolstra with the decisions for that tomorrow night. We're talking about the joy of the players. Go back to the first quarter interview with Monica and Coach Spo. And how happy he was that these guys were getting time. And how pleased he was with how hard playing they have been. Well, when he first started, we have Jovic on a moving screen. When he first started, the video coordinator then, advanced scout, then the assistant coach, did a lot of player development. So that was something that's still near and dear to his heart. Yeah. In that he worked out players when they first came in. And he's part of that. Uh, player development program that the Heat have excelled on. Uh, Sumner misses Morris to rebound and backs it home. Morris has played well, Mike, in the minutes he's been given. Eight points make that 10.6 rebounds. He will play huge minutes. And you know what? He'll also be a much needed authority figure in the locker room from a player standpoint. Uh, Smith goes up and misses. Should be me. Cam Thomas. Good thing I'm doing some preseason games. 